I have some packages to unwrap. <laughs> can you see this? I can't even show you all of it. Look, it keeps going. Ah! <laughs> I think I better start to unbox this. <laughs> Since this is a really, really large unboxing, I'm going to split it into two videos. I'm sorry about the sound in here. I know it kind of echoes. That's just how it is here. Um, but yeah, I am going to be splitting it into two videos. One is going to take place on this channel, the one that you're watching right now. And the other second part is going to take place on my German channel. So I will have it linked right here. So if you want to go see it, um, of course it will be in German. Für die, die es nicht verstanden haben, ich werde den ersten Teil hier auf diesem Kanal haben und den zweiten Teil wird auf meinem neuen Deutsch sprachigen Kanal sein, julia.de und ich werde das gerade hier verlinken, das könnt ihr gleich euch durchklicken. There is going to be a giveaway in both of the videos and I'm going to be giving away um, a Smashbox Studio Pro brush set. I wanted to give something back to you and this is a really cool brush set. I actually have one for myself. I'll show it to you what it looks like once it's open. I'm not going to open up that one, but there are quite a few brushes in here and I already gave one away in my Katy Perry video, the one that I'm wearing um, the makeup for right now. What I'm going to do is in this video there's going to be hidden um, a series of numbers so they're going to pop up throughout the video and what I want you to do is just note down the whole series like one, two, three, four, whatever it'll be and then write me an email. I will have it linked below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up so that's how you can enter. Um, send me an email with the correct answer of the numbers, like in which order they appear. From the correct answers, I will just draw one random winner. I hope that's fun for you guys, so watch for the numerals in this video. All right, so let's open up the first package, and this seems to be by Joe Malone. This gorgeous thing in here looks really pretty with this box. I really like the Jo Malone packaging. I think it's very classic. It seems to be two perfumes in here, which is exciting. Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir Cologne and the Birch and Black Pepper Cologne. Let's see, this is the Pomegranate Noir. Ooh, that smells really nice. And then this one is a Birch and Black Pepper. Oh my gosh. This smells really interesting. The birch and the black pepper. This definitely has some sort of like a smoky, there's a definite smoky note in here. The, this one, the birch and black pepper definitely does uh, smell more manly. I don't think I would wear this. It does have a, like a definite smoky note. I feel like smoky, um, smoky scents are really in trend right now. The birch and black pepper, the one with the black packaging, this one is for males. And the other one, the pomegranate noir, I think it's a scent for women. It has um, also pepper in it actually, and obviously the pomegranate and as well, what is else in here? Guayac wood and some kind of lily, Casablanca lily. So it's supposed to be a dramatic and intense scent. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be sort of like his and hers perfume set, but it will come out in March. So that is really nice. Thank you very much to Jo Malone. Next, I have another package in here by MAC Cosmetics. How very exciting. So there's a nail lacquer in here called Red Red Red. Oh, I think this is from the Red Collection. Yeah, this is the Red 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 Collection. Actually, I was really curious about this collection because, hello, I'm a big red lover. I think red really suits almost everybody. You just need to find the right shade of red. So it's really interesting that there's a whole collection coming out with different shades of red. And so this is a really nice red nail. And honestly, when I look at it like this, it looks like it has a little bit of a strawberry red finish. There's definitely tones of strawberry in here. So sort of like a pinkish red, which looks really nice. This looks to be, it says frost, which is strange because it looks like a cream finish to me right now. The cream sheen glass in meteoric, meteoric, me meteoric, like meteorite, but meteoric, I guess. And this is also coming out with the Red 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 collection. It says that this is a mid-tone vibrant coral. And I think that is a very good description. It's definitely like a coral peach shade. And there seems to be a little bit of a golden shimmer in this lip gloss. And there's a little swatch of it. And then there's also in here um, a beauty powder. And this is in the shade hot sensation also from that same collection and this is um, a sheer pale peach highlighter oh my gosh this is so gorgeous this is so right up my alley perfect description pale peach 
It has a little, little bit of sheen. It's not like a bright highlighter or something. It's not like crazy shimmery. There's a little bit of sheen, but it's more leaning towards the matte. So I think this could have a really nice brightening effect. Well, I already have a highlighter on today, so I'm really just adding more, but this could definitely work. Studio Chromographic Pencil, and so this is supposed to be like a multi-use pencil, and this is in NW25 NC30. So I think for me this is going to be too dark. There's that swatch, so this is definitely way too dark for me. Although maybe I could use this almost like for contouring, like if you work it out, it almost feels like a, a cream. I think I guess you could use this for different things, like you can use this for spot concealing, I would think, you know, if you have like just a little spot somewhere. Yeah, so it says here that you can work these in as an eyeliner or to sculpt and define the face and body for a look that's photo ready in no time. So I'm thinking you could even use this for contouring because it, do, it does blend out really well. Um, and then it kind of sets. So thank you so, so much to MAC Cosmetics for sending that through. Next, I have a package here, which I believe is from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. These are the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows. And there's 10 shades. Um, the single pans are $10, and you can buy them as a bundle, all 10 for 89 US dollars. So these are in pan form. So for this, I guess you will have to get a palette with them to put them in. And I think, yes, they have sent a palette. Oh, this looks to be like their new palettes. I think this is their new palettes that they're releasing. It looks sort of to be like a chrome finish, like a chrome grayish. There's a little bit of pink in there also. And there is a really, oh wow, this mirror is really good. It's a really big, nice mirror. It is a proper mirror. It's, I'm not going to swatch all of them. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see like a video review or something reviewing these shadows in depth in the spotlight. And I've heard that these are really pigmented. They are really creamy. Actually, on first swipe, they kind of remind me a lot of the L'Oreal Infallibles. Like they have that sort of creamy texture. Like when you apply them with your finger, they're really, really creamy. And I think it might be almost better to work these with fingers, but I'm not sure. I'll have to try that out. And then there is one in here called Center Stage, and that's a really cool color. It's like a bright blue. It's almost like a blurple, I would call this. Yeah, this is definitely like a blurple. That is really cool. They're swatching really nicely with my finger. Grandstand. Oh, I might have to just swatch that because I think that's Marlena's favorite one. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, this one's a little bit crumbly. This one is really um, almost like a coppery pink. This one feels a little bit crumbly like when I dip it in, but I might just have to see how that works with a brush. So I put them all in this nice palette and they look really, really pretty. I can't wait to try these out. Well, this is just like a little, little critique. I mean, just on the palette. The palette seems to be not quite the right size for these shadows because you can fit five of them, but you can't fit you can't fit the last one. So you might have to like stack them this way, but I'm thinking that if they had their own custom made palette, it would be really great if it actually fit their eyeshadows. Like if you, if you could fit another one in here, because now you have a bit of wasted space here, which you can't use. So I'm thinking that if they did go to the trouble of making a palette that's like custom for their own shades, they should have totally measured out, maybe just added a little bit more space here so that you could fit six in there small small minor thing the palette looks really nice can't wait to play with them so I definitely want to thank Makeup Geek for sending those through and I'm really excited to try them out next I've got a package here which seems to be from a mystery sender okay this seems to be from sleek with glittery stuff in it moons and stars I'm gonna try not to spill it because I don't want to have to vacuum accentuate illuminate define in line with sleek Up's new eye quad eyeshadow and eyeliner so so there's the eye quads which seem to be shadows and liner um, in one palette I'm wondering if the liner is cream because that's like that's one of my personal pet peeves is when there's a palette like when makeup companies release a palette with cream products mixed with powder products and many brands do this and I really wish they wouldn't <laughs> yeah this is this is another one of those when you get the um, eyeshadow powder out with a brush sometimes it'll skip over into the cream product whatever it may be and then they kind of mix and then there's like gunky stuff in the cream product so already here just by opening it I can see there's like specks of eyeshadow now on the cream product and so I just don't personally like this kind of cross-contamination so I'm already kind of like 
not crazy about that from the first get-go, but the actual product looks kind of interesting. There's like four eyeshadows in here and then there's like a brown eyeliner. Midnight Blues, this one is limited edition. This is, looks really pretty. There's like three, there's uh, two blues in here, um, a gray and then a dark blue liner. There's the liner. It's not quite opaque to be honest. When I go over it, it looks a little bit sheer. You could even use that as an eye base or something like that. And there's the, the blue swatched right beside it. I know it's a little bit hard to see um, far away. I can't really zoom in on this camera. There's powder here now on the eyeshadow and I'm thinking like that might skip over to the liner. The colors look really pretty. I just don't like when companies put powder um, and cream in the same compact for that reason. Even like high-end brands do this and I just don't like it. This one's called Medusa's Kiss and this has like a silver a black, a white, and then a black liner in it. So, I mean, if you like things like this that are all kind of combined, then check them out. Nonetheless, thank you very much to Sleek Cosmetics for sending that through. Next, I've got a big package here, and this says Kat Von D Beauty on it. So, hmm, I wonder what it will be. So there are two things in that box. One is the Shade Light Contour Palette. And yeah, so this is like a contouring kit, similar to maybe like the Anastasia one. Can you see that? There's like little stars right when you open it up, sort of her signature stars that she has. I think she has them on her face. There's also like instructions in here, I guess, how to contour. There's the palette. Right away, honestly, the packaging feels kind of cheap. Let's be honest. Um, this is, I think this brand is sold at Sephora. So when you compare it to other brands, I mean sold at Sephora, I don't know the price point of Kat Von D things to be honest, because um, I've never purchased any. There's no, you can't buy it here in my country. It feels similar to some of the, the palettes that I have, like the made in China kind of palettes. So it just doesn't really, right away, just the packaging doesn't feel like luxurious. Yes, this is a real mirror, that's good. But let's talk about the product. So there's three sort of contouring and then three sort of maybe highlighting powders here. They're all very warm toned is the first thing that I'm noticing. Maybe this one is sort of the most neutral. This is more of a neutral tone, um, but these ones are both definitely very warm. And then the highlights, there's like a peach, a yellow toned, and then sort of a brighter orange, like a brighter peach, like a more intense peach. Um, these are all matte, which is one thing I noticed right away. The highlighters are all matte as well. So you can maybe even use those for like setting your under eye concealer or just doing a matte highlight. So there's no there's no shimmer in here. So right, right away when I think of the Anastasia contouring palette, I think there is one shade in there, a highlighter that's shimmery, which I think is a little bit more versatile because some people do like a shimmery highlight. If you do want sort of a more cooler toned um, contour, I find like the cooler toned contouring products are really hard to find. Um, I feel like everything nowadays is very, very warm toned. I can't really say if the quality is good yet. The, um, I mean, the packaging feels solid. I'm not gonna say it's like it feels loose, like it feels solid, it just doesn't look very high end. It's all kind of cardboard, it's no, there's no metal or anything on it. Maybe the powder is really nice, like the contouring products, maybe they're really, really great. And then there's in here also um, a, a brush. I'm guessing that this is the brush that can be used for the contouring palette. All right, so this is in here in this little sort of coffin looking brush case. It just feels a little bit cheap again. I don't know if this really kind of cheapens it or makes it look nicer. So there's, it's a two-ended side brush. One is called shade and one is called light. So I'm guessing that one is like for using the darker colors and one is for highlighting. They're totally synthetic. As I can see, they feel soft. I think this is gonna be a little bit too much because I've already got like a full face of makeup, but um, there's that. And let's just get a little bit of the highlighter. Oops, okay, there's a lot of fallout. There's a lot of powder that comes off. So first thing I noticed. The brush feels nice. Um, so I don't know how much these products cost. Um, that's the thing. If I had like a price kind of thing with it, then I could say right away whether like I think that's a justified price or not. If they're not too expensive, I think yeah, it's a good buy. If they're like on the same level as like really, really high end things, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, I'm really excited to try the products inside. Like, don't always judge a book by its cover. If the if the products inside are great, then who cares, right? Thank you so, so much to Kat Von D Cosmetics for sending that through. So I have another box in here. Ooh, Caudalie, oh, Caudalie. 
I love skincare stuff, can you tell? So those of you who don't know, Caudalie, it's a French skincare brand. It's widely available in France, but you can also buy it in many um, European countries. I've also seen it here in Switzerland. So there's the Instant Detox Mask, which says it deeply cleanses and minimizes pores. What's so neat about this, I just noticed, like look at the lids. Can you see that? The lids or the caps of these products are all made of wood. Then there's also in here the purifying mask, which says it clarifies and targets blemishes. And let's see, there's also in here a glycolic peel. Ooh, radiance in 10 minutes. Very, very interesting, glycolic peel. And then there's also in here the moisturizing mask, intensely nourishes and soothes. So it's four face masks. Oh, <laughs> super exciting. I love, I love skincare stuff in general. I love trying out new skincare. So these are coming out in April 2015. So there's four masks and they were gonna they're gonna cost 30 francs 20 here in Switzerland first of all I love the ombre color can you guys see this ombre color trend going on here look how long are you supposed to put these on for it says two deux fois par semaine en couche fine cinq minutes so um, two times you can do them two times a week for five minutes and this one well they all had different different times like the sun says um, for 10 minutes. So thank you so, so much to um, Caudalie. And if you're interested in French skincare, um, check out this brand because I have actually a few things by Caudalie. And so I'm on to the last package of the day. Well, on this channel, the rest of the packages are gonna be on the German channel. Um, so there is in here some stuff from L'Occitane. Immortel 28 Divine Renewal Program, the ultimate youth protocol. Ooh. Okay, so there's like a box in here with these little capsules. Oh my God, this is so adorable. So they're individual capsules and each capsule looks like a jar of the actual product. So first week, soft peeling. Second week is hydration and nutrition. Um, week three is balance and week four is renewal. So each day, I guess you put on a seven, like a different one and there's enough for a whole month in here. And then they're labeled like weeks. So there's week one, week two, week three and week four. So that's so cool. You've got every day a new little serum to put on. I think this might be a really cool test to do it. I mean, that might be a really time intensive test, but if we, if I actually kept this up. So thank you so much to L'Occitane for sending that through and as well to all the other brands who sent me their products to try out and who helped me to diversify my channel. Make sure to check out the second part of this video with more unboxing. I've got tons more stuff um, on my other channel, on my German channel. I'll link that right now below. And when you've solved the little trivia question with the, the numbers, um, you can be entered to win in the the giveaway as I explained at the beginning of the video. So make sure you send me the email with your correct answer. So I hope you guys were keeping watch for those numbers and good luck to you guys. And I will see you later. Bye everyone.